Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech of Tomorrow. We're always bringing you the latest in tech goodness. What's going on today? Well, first off, many of you people know about the AIO. This is Intel's all-in-one systems. Now, these things have never really been geared for gaming. They've been geared for multimedia use, you know, watching movies, stuff like that, checking your internet, checking your email, that kind of gizmo. But now, MSI has taken it a step forward with their new AG2712. This is a fully blown touchscreen gaming all-in-one. This thing's gonna be really cool. For one thing, you're gonna have a discrete video card, a 670X, which should pretty much power most games with mega frame rates. You should have no problem playing any game on this system. Now, you'll be able to get this thing in a multitude of colors. The front bezel of it's gonna be able to be changed out. You're going to be able to get i5, i7, different RAM configurations. You've got two USB ports, 3.0, two USB ports, 2.0. You also get Ethernet, Wi-Fi, headphone jacks, all that kind of stuff, and a fully blown touch screen. Now the touch screen's really, really cool, especially for people out there who use Windows 8, and Windows 8 is actually included on this. So if you guys would like to see some pictures or some more information about this, make sure you guys check out the link in the description below where I have my full blown article written about this new product from MSI. It sure looks cool so far. Next up, for you guys out there who are into camera technology, Nikon is releasing their brand new Cool Pix A. Now, this is a totally different move for the people at Nikon. It brings them into a totally different market. Most cameras have a one inch sensor. This one has a totally much larger sensor, a much, much better lens, and all around is geared to be one of the best top cameras that are out there that are smart cameras. This thing's coming into market at about $1,000, but it has all kinds of features that have not been seen before on a Nikon camera. Now, I've also written another article on this where you guys can check out all of those features and all those things about this and see if you're interested in it. I think for $1,000, it's a little bit pricey, but if it is the ultimate little point and shoot little camera all in a little package, I think it's gonna be something to look into. Now, last up, Rumors, 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 all concerning Apple. What are the rumors about? Well, it seems like the people over at Bright Side of News have leaked a story saying that it's possible that Apple is actually doing their own development on a new two terabyte SSD drive. Now, eh, I kind of find that hard to believe myself. I think this is gonna be pretty much be a rumor because Apple's never really been in the development side of things. They take other people's products and they implement them into their systems. I could see them going and working with another company, but here's the thing. I don't know if any of you people out there have ever brought a Mac Pro, and that's actually what this product is geared for. It's geared for the new Mac Pro refresh that we're supposed to see sometime in 2013. But if it's a Christmas time at 2013, fuck, it might as well be 2014. And that's what I'm thinking. I'm also very, very disappointed in Mac altogether for not doing a fresher refresh on this Mac Pro. So what do you guys think? I mean, I'm thinking anyways, if Mac does hit this product to the market, how much is it going to cost? Because like I said earlier, if any of you guys have ever went and configured a system online, anything you buy from them, whether it's a hard drive, memory, video card, you might as well just bend over and just you know grab your ankles, man, because Apple is going to give it to you. That's a fact. So I think you're either gonna have to sell your arm, your leg, your soul to Satan, but something in order to even be able to afford that. What do you guys think? I wanna hear your guys' opinion. And I know it's funny, I heard some of you guys say, if I wanted to read, I'd buy a book. But hey, at least I don't do like other people and just force you to do it. I give the opportunity, it's there. So if you guys wanna check out any of the goodness or more high in-depth stuff about these articles and about these products, then check out the link in the description below where it'll take you over to www.techandamara.com where you can do some reading and check out these articles and their full-blown intentions. With that said, I hope you guys like this video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and show me that love. We'll see you guys back here on Tech tomorrow. If you're not subscribed, well then what the hell? What are you doing?